This morning we're starting a new series called Candidate Cribs, a chance to get to know the human side of the presidential candidates, to take them back to the places that were important to them in the past. NBC's Jonathan Alter took a ride with Democratic contender, former Senator Mike Gravel, and let's just say the senator did a bang-up job. Mike Gravel. American people are fed up with the partisanship, they're fed up with the phoniness, and if I'm hitting it right, I'll become president. Former Alaska Senator Mike Gravel, now 77, drove a checker cab in New York in the 1950s while attending Columbia University. So we decided to rent him a checker and ride with him up to his alma mater. Did you ever get uh, jumped or in any accidents? Twice. No, no, I never had an accident. I was lucky. Not good yeah. something. <laughs> Gravel is best remembered for helping end the Vietnam-era draft with a filibuster and for reading the Pentagon Papers in the Senate. Now, after a quarter century out of politics, he's an angry Rip Van Winkle. I know how to get out of Iraq. I know how to affect a solution. It's a diplomatic solution. Careful! Oh! Hang on. Where's the... Okay, we're okay. No, the okay. brakes went out. It turns out the checker we rented didn't exactly have the best brakes. Hey, wait a second. Let me press it and see if the fluid goes out, okay? Gravel the cabbie may be a little rusty, but not Gravel the politician. If we set the tone, we're going to see a better result in the world than the tone of imperialism and violence and war that we have been setting. Can I say it more emphatically? When we arrive at Columbia, a warm welcome. <laughs> Let's go find a place to talk. His message, accountability with real teeth. The sooner we put some of our leaders in jail for what they do to the people, the sooner we're going to stop people doing that. A ride on the wild side with Mike Gravel. For today, Jonathan Alter, NBC News, New York.